Well, this is interesting. We have a gunslinger that just starts with bomb gloves. Freaking sure, why not? I've never seen you play Archer. I think you might have seen me play Archer, uh, possibly if you've been around for the last couple days, but I often switch out the bow one way or another. Yeah, don't forget your gear. Yup, yup, yup. Uh, let's see. Let's unlock a new thing. Maybe. Nope. Interesting. Feels like there should be more to this wing. Kind of. Okay. Armor. Sanguine. Okay. Too heavy to wear. Never mind then. Leather it is. We need some capacity, apparently. Okay. So now we now we're at least equipped that direction. We still got three thousand. We also have a new spell. Uh new rune. Siphon rune gets me mana per hit, which is kind of useful. I don't know how useful. I think our capacity is also kind of bad. Oh, but I can... If I get one more... I should probably also grab that at some point. And invest in, in money making. Okay, can I grab it? Siphon Rune. There we go. Because yeah, if I've got the Poison Lava, I might as well use it. Go for two, two once more? Oh, because Pizza Girl. Alright. Is there a rune for weight? Uh, hmm. I don't think there is. There are things that improve my, my carry capacity and my weight. Okay. Anyway, this is going to be... Interesting. What does the innovator do again? Weapon and talents is randomized. Oh, right. Oh. Ow. Sure, why not? What if I just... There we go. That's the stuff. Let's see. Grab all this. Nope, didn't work. Perfect. We don't have flight or anything, but I don't think we really need it. I remember this room. There we go. This is an old Rogue Legacy 1 room. Unfortunately, my damage isn't quite as good as it's cracked up to be with this. I was I was hoping we'd punch a little bit higher than our weight class. But alas, no dice. Oh well, it's fine. I think part of it is I have to use the... Or I have to get used to the skill crits on this one. Well, I could become an archer, but like, why? I pressed the wrong... Thing. Well, it's fine. I guess I'm an archer now. Whoops. Ever seen me play archer before? Well, here we go. Whoops. Actually, this does more damage. Maybe it's fine. It slows me down a little bit. There goes the perfect run. Yeah. I was going to go re-roll it to see what other option I have had. There you go. Well, I'll take it. Archer's kind of fun anyway. Even if I did not mean to do it. There we go. Plus, now we're an archer with dynamite. I don't actually know how much I'm going to use the dynamite. Nah. That would have been a pretty rad trick shot. Not gonna work. 
That was worth it. Curve the arrow. Can I, can I curve the arrow? Can I manually control that? What? Be kind of interesting if you could actually control the draw strength. I've only ever seen that in a couple of games and it's usually funky to use. What's my favorite weapon in this? Uh, interesting question. Nope. Okay. For a second, for a second, I was kind of hoping that I could uh, actually pass underneath those. Like scythe, scythe is fantastic and probably the best weapon in the game, but it feels tacky for me to say that. So I'd probably probably say something like the frying pan, which I haven't done a cook in a while. There we go. It's like when Mass Effect was first coming out and it was like, what's your favorite character? Garrus. Fair. It loses a lot of its, uh, There we go. The conversation loses a lot of its uh, depth if there's a clear wi clear winner. What's your favorite meal to cook? Um, uh, hmm. I mean, frankly, chili. I really like my chili. I should probably, you know, expand my repertoire further, but like, chili is just so so damn handy. Oh, we've got old beans, throw them in the chili. We've got old rice, throw it in the chili. Got old vegetables, throw them in the chili. Got old spices, throw everything in the chili. Oh, we need a meal to feed us for like a week. Make chili. Oh, the store accidentally gave us barley. Uh, instead of textured vegetable protein. I don't know, try the chili. There we go. You didn't have to cook. Well, uh, would your favorite change? Well, so I don't cook that much. So like Me cooking chili is is kind of like a hey I really want like a ton of food that I can just reliably eat over the course of a couple of days Only immediate problem is it does make me gassy. I've got a lot of Like a little too heavy on the protein when I make chili. It's so good. Got old chili make chili I mean kind of true You have to worry about it being too old but like recooking it isn't terrible. It's but like the real question is why the hell do you have old chili? You shouldn't have old chili. Uh, let's see. Do you engage in the heresy that is Fritos and chili? Um, yes and no. I prefer uh, just regular chips um, that I scoop. Fritos are a little too salty because my my chilies tend to be pretty salty to begin with. Because I really like like umami. I think, I think that's right. I don't know. Uh, let's see. And so Fritos are just a little too aggressively salty comparatively. Um, and so instead I, I get like just uh, some like locally made tortilla chips or something like that. And use them in, instead of like a spoon or whatever. And it's like a really nice accompaniment. This also gives it like a nice crunch. Without like the chili itself being crunchy, if that makes sense. Because the chili itself being crunchy, like you know you did something wrong. But having having the accompanying crunch, now that's good. Kind of like a taco, but with less effort. On the whole keeping it together while you eat it thing. Switch kidney beans with fava beans. You get less gas. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think I've ever tried fava beans. What's this up, Woodsy? How you doing? Uh, let's see. How goes you? Good. Tired. Had a long week.
But I'm no longer having that long of a week. Yep. Probably actually just do that. Because the poison should protect me against the spirit shots. Perfect. Okay, so I was going to try and explain why this game is worth it at full price. I think ultimately, like, I will say that the game itself is worth it at full price. There are other roguelikes that I might recommend uh, more if you're looking for something else. But, like, on a pure value proposition, this game is a ton. I don't know how many hours I've put in since I got access to the 1.0, but it's been a lot. And I still want to play more. It also does kind of make time just disappear. I've been going, I think for an hour and a half. Yeah, I've been going for an hour and a half and does not feel like it. Okay, nope. And I mean, that's kind of, uh, do I, do I want to keep that around? Sure, we'll keep the delete self button around briefly. There we go. I wish there was a relic that made it so I dropped like two more at released yesterday. Yup. Yeah, game's out. Anybody and everybody can play it now. It is no longer just for me and a couple other creators. Okay, grab this. There we go. Sweet money. There we go. Easy cash. Do we want to get our relics here and then go up? Maybe? Ooh. Combo or Soul Tether? 100% Soul Tether. It's 20% 20 20 off on Steam as well. Seems like a lot of game for your buck. Oh, absolutely. I Both Rogue Legacy games uh, honestly are a little padded. Wow. Holy shit. That was nuts. Soul Chain is absurd. Okay, never mind. We're clearing everything. Ow. Uh, let's see, got anything else in the castle? No, it actually looks like we're kind of done. How do we get out of here the fastest way? I'm not actually sure. So what happened? Uh, so I have, I have an upgrade uh, that's the soul tether. It looks like a chain. And the, uh, it makes it so every five seconds, my attack will hit everything in a much larger AoE for bonus damage. And what that does is effectively, if you're, especially if you're around here, uh, you fire an arrow, arrow off and it clears the room. There's several things I disliked about Rogue Legacy 1 that looks like they've much improved in this one. Yeah. No, I, I would actually have trouble going back to Rogue Legacy 1. The only thing that Rogue Legacy 1 had was that one mod that was, like, kind of a banger. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to keep him trapped. He summons spirit bullets that home in on me. Ow, rude. However, if I've got him in a poison aura, he can't do that. Makes my life a lot easier. Whatever it was, it could get moved to Rogue Legacy 2. That's what I'm hoping. I, I'm, I'm hoping that the modding scene for this game takes off. I think Rogue Legacy 1 was just a little too early to really build that kind of community or whatever. But uh, that's a good example. I mean, like, Rogue Legacy 2, or no, Rogue Legacy. Um, let's 
slick. Ow. Less slick. Fine. Ah. There we go. Grab the money. And run. I did it. Well, at least I got him. Took the damage, but it's fine. We get plenty of HP here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rogue Legacy 2, for example, has quite the modding community, or Rogue Legacy, Risk of Brain 2 has quite the modding community that really, really elevates the game in such a satisfying manner. And it's kind of to the point where, like, I need to play some more Risk of Brain 2. Uh, I might do that this weekend. Hell yeah. What are we up against? Groups of enemies or one tough one? One tough one. Oh, it's just you. That was easy. Destroy the stool. 14 gold, worth it. Whoa. Empathy improved. A simple start. Your empathic connection has been improved. The max handicap for the scar challenge has been raised. Ooh. Oh, interesting. I don't get any gold from that as a result. I'll take it. Out. That is sick. Being able to just pogo on top of an enemy with arrows is kind of nice. Nah, there's nothing here. Let's see. I'm seeing it looks like they really took the lessons of the intervening decade of games, but didn't lose sight of what people loved about the original. Yup. And that's like, I don't want to say that's rare. Uh, because I, I think that's actually been true of quite a number of games. Um, it kind of felt the same way with, like, Risk of Rain 2 and Binding of Isaac and a couple others. Like, nothing makes me happier than a, a, a good, proper indie game sequel. Because unlike AAA games where the sequels are usually, um, usually just kind of farmed out more of the same, most indie games, when they get a sequel, it's, like, the best version of the game and legitimately would be hard to beat but yeah it's incredibly rare in, in AAA games there's a couple of examples like God of War oddly enough I would say uh, the most recent God of War kind of reboot series uh, they did a fantastic job of kind of keeping the momentum of God of War but switching it to be some something completely different and then also kind of taking a lot of lessons from uh, from kind of the feedback aimed towards God of War I was reading about um, big game snafus and controversies of the last like 20 years and one of the big ones was like apparently for God of War 2 they said they like had a goat sacrifice at like a party and had like barely clothed women um, giving out great grapes and some other stuff and it was just like kind of weird and creepy and like the I don't know if the games necessarily had that vibe but like I saw a, I saw a bit of God of War 1 a long time ago and it like kind of had that vibe of just like I don't want to call it like full ick factor but it was just a little a little weird and so the more recent one was like much more wholesome across the board I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, you know, much of the dev team when it was originally made were, hmm, uh, were much more immature. Ow. And then when, uh, when it came to time to kind of reboot the series ish, much of them were older and had kids and stuff. So it was a little, a little bit more of a no brainer of like, Hey, maybe if we don't make like an ultra horny game. games there was just a QTE time sex scene was another controversy in the original God of War. I didn't even hear about that one. It feels gross. Like that feels like something that belongs in Ride to Hell Retribution.
But maybe I just... I don't know. Nope. Not gonna get the timing on that one. Wow, that sucks. That's a lot of damage. Nah, I'm just not gonna be able to get it. There we go. Oh, this is easy enough. I oh, see. Anything else here? Unfortunately, I've been through these levels so much that I'm starting to do them on autopilot, which is good. I'm not taking too much damage. Like, I actually have to bring my brain back and be like, okay, have I killed myself yet? No? Good. I've got enough space for some relics, too. Ugh, no jumping. Nah. I'm not going to try it. There we go. There we go. Everything is easy. I gotta make sure I'm not just saying there we go whenever I pull off a trick shot. Because there's just enough focus. Oop. And my commentary suffers for it. It's a downer. That's why I usually like going on rant bot, because it's a little easier. To focus on like one thing or another. Oop. You can't touch me. And unfortunately, my bow needs to do just a smidge more damage. Okay. Let's see. Grab this stuff. Who we got here? Still. Ah. Uh, no, let's go for the crit chance. Because I could actually do the Lotus at this point. I have the resources. Hey, you got it. Yeah, so I, I could actually use the Lotus uh, to block. Let's see, I know you're supposed to use this to, like, bounce off of a projectile, but it's just... I'm not good at... I'm not good at that. I'm just gonna keep doing... At yeah, that one. I'm not sure how you're supposed to do that one without taking just a lot of damage. Which, I guess, I just need to resign myself to. Take him out. There we go. I missed that 70 damage spin kick. That was that was the shit. I was not expecting to actually get spin kick to be that good. Oh man. I wanna try Bard again with some of these relics that we've grabbed. That was rude. Stupid little uh harbor sign blocks arrows. Uh, that's okay. One is a pretty ballerina. It's true. I would never be able to do ballet. I would, I would like to. I would like to like mess around with some dancing at some point because I, I think Shell would enjoy that. But ballet, no. I've never been able to even understand it too much as an art form. I know it's supposed to be beautiful, but like whenever I see it, I'm just kind of like, yep, that's a dancing. One of Shell's friends is very into ballet. And I'm like, that's neat. There's no health. Nah. That ballet messes up your toes. I've got especially, like, mucked up toes to begin with just because my, um, my ridiculously wide duck feet don't, don't handle shoes and constrain, being constrained that much. Let's get the plateau. Keep it for the healing. Uh, let's see, is Wonder playing mouse and keyboard or uh, Xbox One controller? I'm actually playing this with a PlayStation 4 controller. I broke my Xbox, uh, my Xbox One controller. Ow.
Oh, that's effective. Holy shit. Oh. I, okay, I wasn't expecting that. I gotta buy a bigger shoe just because of the width. I can't do that. I tried bigger shoes, but now I just have to find uh, quadruple or quintuple E wide. Uh, kind of depends on the brand. I got lucky with the uh, with Keen brand boots for a while, but they've switched out the model, and so now it's uh, now it's a different different style and not as wide which is unfortunate for me okay got him ow at least I can spin kick these guys to death pretty easily but yeah my uh, I don't remember which foot is which but one of my foot feet is quintuple E and one of my feet is quadruple E wide and so it made it like intensely difficult to find uh running shoes oops when i was a kid and as somebody that wanted to kind of be good at cross country that was not pleasant and then when uh when i was working like a real human normal job at a grocery store they're like new uh you know policy of you have to wear like black dress shoes um, while working, and I'm like, I none of these like fit me comfortably, and they're like, well, too bad. You must wear dress shoes. And so eventually, I found some like black tennis shoes that like, if you don't look at them too hard, you're like, oh yeah, those are dress shoes. Human job. Well, I mean, I don't know. Oops. But it was further along than I was. And that was not worth it for 250 gold, but whatever. Oop. Grab this. Shock edge. There we go. I got, that's what I did. Got black sneakers from the sporting sh store. I did not like working at that grocery store. Like aspects of it that were kind of fun namely just uh whenever i was pushing carts there was no supervision so i could just kind of do whatever i wanted and so as long as like the weather wasn't bad it was kind of just this like beautiful easy job for me but then when the weather got bad it sucked because job did not care oh there we go I'm just gonna wait for this. Oop. There we go. And neither of these are mimics. You can tell because they're not sparkling. Or they are sparkling. There we go. Okay. Go here. Do we think... Yeah, I can do it. I'm a little injured, but if I if I really feel like I need some HP here. I can always uh go back to the steps. There we go. And we get leather trinket. Alright, pisses off the Doom Visses. Oops. There we go. Break everything. This character is kind of a sweet bag of tricks. Like, I kind of... I kind of love this guy. Having the dynamite... I don't use it often, but every once in a while I'll just be like, Oh shit, dynamite! And it just... It smokes whatever I need it to smoke. It's good. Damage on the bow is also, like, stunningly good. Okay, what else do we have? Nope.
That was a good crit. Oop. There we go. There we go. Everything's tidy. Unfortunately, we don't do enough damage here to really... Uh, really use the soul chain against these guys. I probably should have actually just chucked a dynamite at him. Aha! What did you think was going to happen? We'd survive this exchange? Okay, we've got this room. Uh, you know what? I'll break all the furniture. We might as well. Boss time? Kind of. Uh, I want to get enough HP first. The big issue is that the, the mid-bosses that you specifically fight okay. I see uh, the mid bosses that you specifically fight in this zone uh, you can't heal or going through the door does not heal you so I want to be in a very good spot before I do that damn it Stay away from the gold. There we go. The click, click, boom. It's good. Oh, good. Not enough damage. I also don't know where it went. There it is. There we go. There's also apparently a bunch of gold over here that I missed. It's fine. Roasted Mimic tastes like lamb. I... Oh, gosh. Did they... Yeah, they absolutely ate a Mimic in Dungeon Meshi. Roasted Mimic tastes like lobster. Ooh. Let me go back and finish reading that. It kind of... It's like on its final arc, give or take. And I, like, lost all steam because the plot actually started mattering. And I was just like, this is, like, too emotionally heavy for me to be interested in the moment. And now, like, multiple chapters have gone by. Oh. Surprise, Doomvis. And yet, doesn't matter. Did matter. Click, click, boom. There we go. Please heal me. Whoops. That's not healing me. I want chicken. Wall chicken. I feel like I'm racing the clock here a little bit with that spike ball following me. Looks like it's chilled. There we go. Alright, what do we got up? Like, I'm gaining HP back, it's just not fast. Ow. There goes one. There goes two. There we go. There was, uh, one of those archer things, but... Or the crossbow turrets? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, be very careful of the coinage. Coinage would hurt. Eating a Mimic sounds like some trick Mimic would pull off to just eat you better. I, oh man. I still want to do a D&D one-off where like, the entire, uh, the entire house is either animated objects or Mimics. And the players really have to be like, super careful about how they, how they approach. Aha! There we go. And then the whole thing culminates with him just fighting the house itself. That'd be amazing. Uh, let's see. We good? We're good. Where are we going? All the way to the right of this room. I can almost clear this place without taking any damage. But I'm probably going to be in a much better spot. Hmm. I mean, it's fine, I guess. 
I'd be in a better spot if I hadn't uh, constantly sacked HP to increase my max. Yeah, I don't think this room... Yeah, this room doesn't have anything. Uh, oh. Doing it. We'll have to leave this zone, though. Okay, what do we get? Still don't know about Pandora's Trial. What about these? Demeter's Trial or another cloth of spindle. I'll take it. Okay. And he does have a new journal entry for us. Converting mining operations to the Pichon Dry Lake has been met with additional complications. The Black Roots have aggressively spread through the camp and made their way into the Citadel. Monsters have begun to make their way into the Citadel, which is causing development to grind to a halt. Every miner now requires a guard to escort them through the halls, but we need production to continue. Looks like I'll have to divert my energies away from the tree's fruit and focus on this annoyance for the time being. Let's see, Pandora's is awesome. Oh. I, uh, I have... I have yet to pick that one, because if it's a zero cost, it sounds like it would be, um... Potentially risky. Wait, did that one actually give me money? Shoot. No. It just sounded like there was a coin. Alas. There's nothing. Yeah, all are risky. Okay, I'll have to pick it up in a future run. I just, you know, each of these runs is actually going quite well for me. And so it's difficult for me to want to, um... Difficult for me to want to pick things uh, that could mess it up. gonna probably have to go back to the, the plateau. Ooh. Let's get some HP back. Really miss that perk that heals me. Well, do we go back? Yeah, let's go back now. Let's go to the Kurgulin plateau. My trials are kind of risky, but worth it if you're good or lucky. Good to know. Yeah, let's just go back here, grab a little bit more gold, heal up. If I get back up to full health, we'll go fight a mid-boss. Castle will fully upgraded yet. Not even close. There's all sorts of things that I haven't even done yet. Wow. I'm glad I saved this place for later. Battle room. Aha. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's one of you. it take you out all that's left is that one yeah, I should be able to heal off of this there's a nope not a zombie there we go I'm just gonna wail on the partisan maiden from a distance amazing there we go and we get another empathy Rad. Still miss, miss getting money from that. Uh, Karen's trial. Interesting. Interesting. Nope, didn't work. Okay. We're pretty 
close to full. Never mind. We were pretty close to full. And yeah, we do have the self sacrifice. If I want to do it. I'm just going to do that to save, uh, save myself a little. Get the shields. Everything is good. And we're almost back up to full health. I love siphon runes. I'm, st I'm super, super excited to potentially get the sanguine set. It's just so heavy. And that's that's the stompy item. But I don't actually care for it. There we go. Grab the money. What do we think? Find a teleporter, get out of here? Yeah, let's find a teleporter, get out of here. Because I want to leave this place as an HP bank for the harder zones. I think that's going to be something I just start doing by default. Let's see. Because I like all the bonus HP that I'm getting from this, but we don't really need it. Let's go here. I haven't even seen this one yet, but I've barely even seen the other one, so it doesn't really matter. Ow. Whatever. Just the off chance one gives me something amazing. The answer is it doesn't. Interesting. This infestation, I've seen it before. Condemn the archives, gather what you can, and start barricading the hallways. Whatever infested the bodies in the gatehouse has found its way here. Spread the word and keep the guards on watch. The scholars here are lost. Interesting. Okay. Grab that now. It's like a platforming challenge. And it, it is a platforming challenge. The things I do for money. Ow. Nope. There we go. We have kind of a leeway. Oh, there's more over there. to the bottom. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be gaining too much. What the shit? Okay. I was wild. Void Beast defeated. So the YouTube videos are a bit behind. Oh yeah, I've been I've been streaming this constantly. Alright. And we get another simple start. And resources. I wonder if these are permanent. Wait, what? Oh, okay. 
There's one. Wasn't Murmur an NPC some of the lore mentioned? Yes. It, uh, Murmur was. There's one of the two souls bound to the door. Okay, we're going back to the Kirkland Plateau to heal. I wonder if those are permanent or if I have to get them all in one run. Hopefully it's permanent. I would love an alternate rule set for Risk of Rain or Risk of Rain, Rogue Legacy 2. Why do I keep messing those two up? I'm not even that similar apart from the R. Um I kinda wish that uh there was a mode that made it so you had to kill every boss in one run. Ah, shit. That dog really had my number. There we go. I don't know if I do it, but I like the idea of it all the same. You know, saying like, yeah, I, I actually have to just... out. I have to actually complete this whole thing. Screw it. I don't know if this is worth it. The damage isn't that bad, but still. Okay, up here. Just kill self. Waste progress. There's food. I would like more food, please. Oops. Oh, it's okay. I'm not really here for the money. Now. I'm here for the HP though, and squandering all of it is a bit of the shame bit of a shame. Okay. Scoot through that. Alright. And then this room is meaningless. There we go. I'll get our HP back slowly. Hopefully we get it a little faster than this though. Okay. Yeah, there's the jumpy dog statue. The heck is the map? There's the map. Unfortunately, since I'm using a PS4 controller, it's press the pad to pull up the map, but it's not the most precise. At least for me. Oh, you can actually hit the, the zombie when he's still on the ground. I didn't know that. There's some food. It's a perk. One that sets enemies on fire, which is really good, but kind of expensive. Like, actually would be a very good compliment for this build, but I don't really want to sacrifice all of that HP. Just to be able to set enemies on fire. Okay, I think I've got enough. I can actually re-roll this. We could get another soul soul tether, but no. I only need one. At 416 HP, that's a lot. Yeah. Good enough to keep messing around in Axis Monday. Fight the other mid bosses, but I don't I I don't want to sack max HP here, if I can avoid it. There we go. Didn't work out the way I meant it to. But it works. Oh, we should probably actually head to the left. Should be over here. 
Yeah, I have to watch out for the the fire mages. The skeletal fire mages? Because they have one homing shot that does like a shit ton. That one, which I think I was about to cast. There we go. Well, we're fine. Alright. Up. Huh. I've only ever encountered the mid-boss. I think on the left side, but it might not be here. I'll keep going up. I'll see what I can do. We'll probably show up somewhere. Nope. I deserve that. Luckily, it immediately gives me healing. It's very appreciated. Oh no, this is this is just the boss. All right. Been waiting for this to 1.0 for a while. Got in right at the start of this. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so this is a bit of a concern. That's a wicked doom this. There we go. Didn't take too much. That was a wicked Doomvist, though. Whew! Yeah, being able to do trick shots with the archer is still actually super helpful. I don't think we would have gotten this far with explosive boxing gloves. I think it would have been maybe a bit me memeier, but I, I don't foresee our success rate have being uh being any better than this oh it could also just be over on the left of this room i will take that money thank you there we go looks like none of the spirits are actually interested in coming after me which is kind of nice okay maybe it's even further down Maybe it's down here to the left. Hard to say. Interesting crossbow room I hadn't been in. Whoop. Ow. There we go. Now, oh, come on. Well, I tried. I tried and it hurts. Okay, here we go. However, we are hurt enough that we might. Here, let's clear this area out first. Okay, we're out. Which is good. And let's see if there's any food that shows up in here. Like one leg of meat before this boss fight would actually be lovely. It would make my life a lot easier. Alright. Back to the Kirkland Plateau. Let's see if I can get an extra 100 HP here. Because I know I healed to full going into the boss boss. Just mid boss, big question mark. as much. Might as well use them here. There we go. There we go. I get my hook back. There we go. You totally can hit the zombies while they're still in the ground. I think I've just never been in a position to do it. Usually because I'm too close to them, so they always just pop up. There we go. Arrows for everybody. Nope. There we go. Ow. That was worth a shot. Oh, hello. Never could accept Namaz in Estuary. She was one of the good ones. 
It's easy to make exceptions after condemning a group. It took me a long time to realize that everyone's an exception. I bet that's Jay. It's gotta be, right? I'm assuming as such. I almost walked right into that one. Did my chat break? Is everybody just zoning? Nope, we're good. Who is Jay? Uh, ooh, I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, yeah, quiet is all. Understandable. Just always want to make sure. Uh, let's see. So Jay is a uh, is one of the characters uh, that we keep finding logs for. There's two characters, Z and J. And uh, they were kind of revolutionaries of a sort. Uh, one of them was like an insider and the other one was more of a... Um, uh, one was an insider and one was more of like kind of a, a rebel leader from the outside. Ish. And so, uh, specifically, like, the rebellion failed in a really bad way. And we keep reading kind of logs about how, though we haven't actually seen, like, how it exactly went down, which I kind of wish we, we got that full picture just because. Um... Let's see. But so this this kind of forlorn looking knight dude has been around for a while just kind of chatting with us every uh like whenever we come across and they always have something pertinent to say. And I'm theorizing that it's it's one of the two characters we keep reading the logs from. Is it just the initial J or J A Y? Just just J. Just the letter. There we go. Anything else? Nah. I haven't taken too much damage. All right, now we're fully healed. Damn it. That's one too many. Really wish you could like bank unused food items in this. I realized it would kind of break the, um, break the setup, but still. So you're almost at full HP. Why not take the max HP buff? Um. Got it. I knew I had enough hops. Uh, so, uh, I want to save that for a heal, if I can. Where's the nearest teleporter? Over here. Uh, I want to save that for a heal, probably after the boss. It's movement tech in the boss room. I was like, yeah, I, I knew I had enough. I don't do much for speedrun strats. I feel like I could probably do a decent job of it. But normally, not my thing. Okay. But yeah, so if I pick up the max HP apple, I take 140 damage, which means I need to spend more time healing. Um, but I also have 470 HP. That should be enough. one to bully. Use the poison. There we go. Use the poison to shield myself from their their homing soul shots. Ah, 
Took a hit. Nope. Not doing the charge. That's fine. That wasn't so bad. Let's see. Could take the max HP right before the boss because you heal full anyway. True. Um, the main reason why I was thinking of keeping it for after is if I fight the boss and live, then I can, uh, then I can heal. But no. You're right. We should go for the max HP and have the biggest edge we can take with us into the boss fight. Okay, so we want to go to here. Throne. Okay, let's go get that max HP. Empath is good for this boss. Does Empath make it so that uh, every enemy takes the same amount of damage? Or... Oh, shoot. Not take too much between... I say as I pile drive my face into every single hazard between there and now. Thing is though, I healed a full so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was saying for the mini boss. Well, what does what does the empath move do? Cuz I actually I don't think I've ever seen it go by or move trait or is it a relic? Or am I just, like, completely psyching myself out here and I totally know exactly what it is? False Scholar, Estuary Enoch. Oh wait, I can't go through those. give ourselves a little bit more leeway here. Alright, there we go. There we go. We got him. That was tough, but it's fine. <sighs> Having a ranged attack for these fights is super helpful. Oh, but the truth. The shit. Oh, I what? What the fuck? I the fuck? All right. I was not expecting that. One thousand years. One thousand more. A boss was a lie. I was not expecting that. Super fluid, antique, zealot's ring. Nah, let's reroll these guys. So combative loot box at loot box attic, or just a a chef. I haven't rolled chef in a while. I was uh 
a surprise and not necessarily a welcome one. <laughs> oh well. <laughs>